You know, when we book chefs for the show, our first question is usually, well, what are you gonna make? And when the chef replies, well, I'm gonna make my favorite chicken dish, well, you know, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. And guess what? That is exactly how Chef Phil Cropper with Worcester Technical High School's Culinary uh, Arts Department replied when we talked to him. Here he is, Chef Phil, joining us right now with his favorite chicken dish. Chef, how are you this afternoon? I'm great. How are you guys doing today? Thanks for talking to us. What are you making here? We're going to make chicken pistachio. So the first thing I'm going to do is take two boneless, skinless chicken breasts. And I'm gonna season them with kosher salt and black pepper. And then I'm going to take my salt and pepper and mix it in with my flour. So what? I call this dirty flour because now it has salt and pepper mixed in. Oh, okay. That makes sense. So the chicken is gonna go into the flour. I'm just gonna start the stove. We're gonna put a little bit of olive oil in a saute pan. And then I'm going to put a little bit of butter to melt because olive oil has a higher smoking point than butter. Huh. And I'm going to dredge my chicken just in the seasoned flour with salt and pepper. So you're not dredging it in eggs or anything to make a coating? No, I'm just, just putting it right in the flour because this is going to help give a nice crust to the chicken and it's going to brown the chicken nicely. Okay. Fair enough. So we are actually going to saute this so, um, fun little education point here, saute is French, and it means to jump, which means when we put the chicken in the saute pan, we want the chicken to flutter or jump a little bit in the pan. And that's, that's how we know it's nice and hot. Had no idea. All right, so the chicken is in the pan. Ah. And... We're just waiting for it to jump. <laughs> yeah. So we're going we're gonna to brown this chicken on both sides. Um, and the chicken dish is really simple. It's only got a few ingredients. So it's basically a boneless skinless chicken breast. These are two eight-ounce breasts um, that I just pounded slightly so they weren't quite as thick. And then we have pistachio nuts. These are just raw, unsalted pistachio nuts. I have prosciutto, which is just a, it's a cured Italian ham that I just diced up. And then I have some mushrooms that we sliced up. Okay. So the only two other ingredients that we're gonna add to this is our Madeira wine, which is a fortified wine and heavy cream. So Go what ahead. is it about this dish that you like so much? Um, you got the saltiness from the ham and the crunchy pistachio nuts, and then it's in a nice creamy uh, sauce that just has a very hint of wine. Um, so it's a great dish. I prefer, honestly, with veal. Um, but most people don't like veal, so it's great with chicken as well. All right. Well, if your cameraman will push into that pan, we really want to see what you're cooking up there. Ah, that looks good. All right, so we have our chicken cooking. I'm just going to let it cook on the other side a little bit. And then I'm going to add my pistachio nuts because I want the nuts to toast or roast a little bit in the pan because that's going to let all the natural oils in the nuts release. Okay. All right, so Chef, as your cameraman pulls back out so we can see your face, how long do you do this? Uh, this chicken's going to take about five minutes or so to cook. You're just going to brown it on either side. Then we can take the chicken out of the pan and once it's brown on either side, and I'm just going to put a little bit of chicken broth into a pan, and this can go right into your oven for about 10 minutes at 350 while you are... Um, while you can make the rest of the sauce. So here I'm gonna add my ham. We're gonna take a little bit of a break and then uh, uh, check back with you and finish this dish up. Sounds All right. great, thanks. All right, Del Marva Life, we'll be right back. And there goes the wine. <laughs> look at that, doesn't that look good? Chef Phil Crapper with the Worcester Technical High School Culinary Arts Department is showing us how to make chicken pistachio. Now that chicken is actually in the oven. Is it still in the oven, uh, Chef? It is in the oven. We're going to take it back here in a minute. And I'm adding my heavy cream now to the sauce, and we're going to let this reduce down. And this is going to cook down by half, and it's going to make a nice creamy sauce. All right. That looks amazing. So tell us about the, the semester. How's, that, how's things been going uh, there at the school? It's been going really well. It's been, uh, we're 100% back here in Mr. County, which means all the students have the choice to be back if they choose to. Um, so most of my students are back in person because you can't really cook over the internet. And um, 
We're still Zooming every day for the few kids that choose to stay home. And the semester is going really well. We only have about 35 days left of school before the school year ends. Something like what you do has got to be tough over Zoom. It is a little tough. So the kids over Zoom don't really, uh, they don't cook at home. They just do all the lecture and theory. And then they do drawings and they critique what the kids here do. We kind of pair them up. So the kids at home are paired up with the students as in person. And then they work together over an iPad. What's nice here is in Worcester County, we're one-to-one uh, -one with digital conversion. So all the kids have an iPad so they can work as like a buddy system over Zoom. Nice. That's wonderful. Oh, my goodness. That dish looks absolutely amazing. Ooh, 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 ooh. What do we got on the side there? So this is some roasted fingerling potatoes. We have red, purple, and yellow potatoes with a little bit of um, olive oil, goat cheese, and cilantro. And then we have some sauteed green beans with roasted tomatoes and then the chicken breast. Wow, amazing. And of course, we have the recipe on our web website, delmarvalife.com. You need to get those students to, to figure out how we can get these recipes or get these dishes to go through this monitor through the TV, here, yes. so that we That's can right. <laughs> actually taste them. <laughs> Chef Phil Cropper, thank you so much for talking to us this afternoon. Thank you. Enjoy your day.